Hey everybody, Space Goats here. This will be uh, video number four in the uh, build series of this 3D printed ITX case. It's it's done, guys. After 100 hours of print time, several hours of, of fitting, putting for the brass inserts in, she's done. This is what it looks like when it's complete. Of course, without all the hardware in it. In this video here, I'm going to discuss some of the hardware that I'm going to be putting in it. And then I'll have one more video, which will be the assembly video. I may try to do a, a time lapse or a little bit of time lapse. A couple, couple of video or a couple of uh, uh, start and stop, you know, shooting and whatnot of, of how I put things together and whatnot. But that's what it looks like when she's done, though. It's a pretty, pretty nice little case. And gaps are nice and tight. Tight, tight as I can make them or, or get them, you know. It is 3D printed. Stuff does contract and expand and move and stuff as you go along. But that's it. So, this is the case. We're going to be, this would be my PCIe riser. Now what this does, GPU's on, of course, this side of the case right here. So, this will actually attach uh, internally of this case. Uh, let me, let me set, set you guys down here just for a second. Something like this. And let me take this top plate off real quick. It won't take just a second. Sorry I haven't uh, posted any videos in the last few days. I, I do have a sort of a nine to five job. I work uh, three days a week, but I work double shifts, so I'm off for the rest of the time. So I've been gone for the last three days at work. Got home at eight o'clock this morning and went to bed. So the time I got all my chores done and everything done around the house today, first time I've actually been able to uh, get this video done for you guys. I've had this thing sitting on my workbench, well, ever since last week. The last print of this side panel over here, the CPU side panel, uh, finished up about noon on Thursday just before I left for work. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to try to get another video done until today. But we'll get her done today. I'll get it final assembly done tomorrow, which is Monday, Labor Day. Do some benchmarking and some testing. And I hope to have this thing shipped out by Wednesday. I think. Ooh, I almost forgot. I need to take off. Now on these bottom panels, the bottom here, I actually said I have rubber feet and these side panels are held on with little screws on either side. So we have to come up here, take off the little screw, a little screw here. Here a screw, there a screw, everywhere a screw, screw. There is a lot of little screws in this case, the way it's made. To hold everything together, good and tight. All right, now, pull the side panel off. Now with the side panel off, get you access to the riser. The way this riser goes in here is, I use a couple little short button head screws um, find the right one here. Like I said, I got a bunch of little screws around here. What I do is, when I start putting this together, I'll start pulling screws out and then I'll keep all those screws separate so I know that I already got a screw for a certain position. So the riser just goes in here like so. Actually, what? Um, 
Oops, I need to pick it. There's two holes on these risers. And in this case, it picks up the inner holes. Just like so. I like to give a little push down a little bit just to get this riser kind of set down flush. There's a lot of room to play. It's not like a regular case. You got a lot of room to play in the in the IO shield for the for the uh, GPU. So and that's how the riser goes in. Pretty simple. Motherboard on the other side mounts just like the just regular old motherboard. It just has four screws. It'll be ITX. So, so anyway, so let me uh, give a little rundown on our parts. I'll set this stuff off to the side of what we're going to be installing in this little little jewel. Move my camera a little bit. So you guys can maybe see what I'm doing. Still learning this GoPro thing, so you guys bear with me for a few weeks, months, years. I don't know how long it's going to take. All right, we have an ASRock Phantom B550 motherboard. Uh, I went ahead and went with the 550 mainly because of the updated features and stuff. Uh, I've used one of these boards on a previous build and I've had really good luck with it. Uh, Price is a little bit more expensive than say like a 450 or something like that. But if the person that wants it wants to upgrade to 4.0 hard drives or something like that later on down the road, they can. So great, great little board. I've been happy with them. Haven't had any issues with drivers or anything like that with them. So they did request a two terabyte NVMe drive. Uh, what? Computer's mainly going to be used for was a little bit of light gaming. And uh, he's having it built for his, I think he said it was his grandmother. And she is an accountant, does taxes and stuff, and needs the, the extra storage. So he requested a 2 terabyte NVMe drive. We're putting in 16 gigs of 3600 Vengeance DDR4. I've had a really good luck with these kits. I haven't had any issues with, with Ryzen being able to push the 3600 megahertz. Uh, let's see, the cast latency on this was, uh, what was this stuff? Not as fast as it could be. Yeah, that's the CL18 stuff. Not as fast as it could be, but for the price, it's really good kit for the, for the price. We went with a Noctua. Probably the best cooler on the market you can get. This is a 65 millimeter low profile, which is just about max for this case. I may have to do a little, a little bit massaging to the fins on this case. Uh, I have to sand them down just about a millimeter or so. Uh, on the last system I built, I had an issue with the fan rubbing not the fan blade itself but the fan touching the side panel and it created a real slight vibration which i didn't really care for so i had to kind of sand it sand the fins down just a little bit to get it to fit in there but i wanted the the bigger cooler i could go with a really little cooler uh let's see i got one over here still attached to a motherboard this is my ITX motherboard. It is a Core i5. Came out of one of my other ITX systems. And this is the Noctua, like low, low profile. Uh, I think this was 30, like 37 millimeters. Great cooler, but it, they don't, they're not much better performance than, say, like a stock cooler when it comes to efficiency, but it's super quiet though. But I have a, um, an Inwin Chopin case. And you have to run this cooler inside that case because the case is only is only like you know about this tall, so there's no room for any other cooler but one like this. But I didn't want to run that size of cooler mainly because 
of my processor I'll get to in just a second. GPU graphics, we're running an Asus Phoenix card. This will be a 1660 Super. I've actually ran a little bit of testing and stuff on this card in another ITX system. Great little card. Uh, in these ITX systems, especially the short one, the short version, the 1660 Super is about the only, but the only option that we have. We there's not a there's not an option for a short, small, low profile 2060 or something like that. I think there are some shorter versions, but they don't fit in this case because they're just not short enough. And it's uh, I've seen one, but it's a triple slot fan or a GPU, not a not a dual slot. So that'll be our graphics card. We're also running a Corsair SF600 power supply. Great little power supplies. I've used like five or six of these things now. It will have a set of custom cables. I got the custom cables in these mainly because it gives me a little more flexibility to maneuver around in that case and to be able to use it. And let's see, what else? Well, last but not least, we have our CPU. Now, this CPU is going to be a bit overkill for what it's for what uh they were asking for but i had it on the shelf it was a open box purchase from micro center but the funny thing is this has never been opened so it was a new item return and we have a ryzen 7 3800x probably the best Ryzen 7 out there until the new ones come out of course so that is going to be our CPU in this little system and that's why I ended up having to go with the slightly larger better CPU cooler well all right guys well in the next video like I said I'm gonna try to get this thing all put together tomorrow so I'll be a couple hours of assembly and getting all the pieces and parts to fit and wired up i need to make one one wire uh that goes from the power button to the motherboard and i actually have connectors and i'll actually wire my own connector that way there's not individual wires that way it's a little easier to work with because when the front of the case comes off it actually separates and the power button stays inside of that case and stays with it so i gotta have some easy way to take them on and off but all right guys well i'm gonna end this video right here and hope you guys have enjoyed it like and subscribe uh i'll have some uh hopefully some t-shirts out here pretty soon i got a pretty cool logo and i and uh i'd like to have a few t-shirts for myself so if you guys would you know when i get the link up I'll, I'll I'll let everybody know, but I have I'm still waiting for my merch account to be approved from Amazon. So I'll have an, in the link in the description and stuff below. I'll have links to all parts and pieces of this hardware that I'm using. So all right, guys. Well, I will uh, get off here, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow when I get the next video done. All right, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh.